Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on the, this uh, unique uh, Breeze 4K flying uh, quadcopter. As you can see, I, I'm going to show you within the video. Uh, when I adjust the camera, there seems like a 20 second uh, delay. So that's why I don't like it. Uh, this is like a review about this uh, drone. If you guys don't, if you guys are okay with this, see when I move the drone to uh, over here, and then you see the video stop moving around, so it, it lags so bad. So I'm not sure why. So right here, I'm gonna show or uh, demonstrate when I move the drone around. See, I'm trying to toggle the the angle of the the camera which is the located on the left hand side that's where you toggle the or tilt the angles of the camera on your drone so after I moved it and it seems like it's, uh, there's a lag I'm not sure how many seconds but uh, most likely at least more than 10 or 15 seconds so you have to move it and then uh, now it's going to start moving around So anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, move the drone or maneuver around. See left, right. So I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So it's about seventeen or eighteen lag. I think the most uh, lag was about up to twenty second. So I'm moving around and then uh, somehow it got shorter. I'm not sure because I'm holding it close to the drone or anything like that, but I don't think that was the case because uh, imagine if you're going to fly the drone, it's going to be uh, a couple of feet away from you. That means what? It's going to lag even longer. So this is the reason I'm trying to uh, point out for you guys and record this to see how bad uh, it lags. But somehow when I try to uh, show you guys right now, I, it seems like it got sh <coughs> it's not lagging as much. See, it's like only within a couple seconds lag. But uh, the beginning was uh, pretty bad. And as you can see, the battery level shows at eighty-three percent. So, well, I'm about ready to show you guys the first uh, fly under this uh, flight um, in pilot mode. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm uh, about to hit that takeoff button right now. So, after you uh, take hit that takeoff button, you gotta slide it in order to for your drone to fly. Okay. And then right here, I'm trying to show you guys that there's a two button on the lower left hand side. It's the automatic landing or come home. Okay. So I, I was holding it. And it says uh, take off because due to overweight because I was holding it. I didn't want to fly up to the ceiling and then just uh, crash. So again, I'm trying to uh, demonstrate again the second flight. But the one, the button on the right hand side, that is a gyro. In case if you don't want to use those two on the left hand side, the control uh, toggle switch on your screen, you can hit that right button, the blue button on the right, very right hand side, and then you can use your phone as a gyro. But first of all, you need to put your uh, smartphone flat before you hit that button, and then you hold up and to maneuver around like you're flying the drone. Okay. So it seems like there's not, not much of a uh, lagging at all at now, as, as of now. So, so I'm trying to hit that take off button again. <laughs> so 
So after you take off, then you could uh, it either do the automatic auto landing or emergency landing or auto uh, coming home. And right here, I'm trying to show you guys the those are the toggle switch for you to fly your drones. So you want to use the gyro, then you gotta maneuver around. Okay. So let's go ahead and do and do then to get on to the next uh, mode. This one is the selfie mode. So after you took off, yeah, you could uh. Use those uh, on the screen with the top, bottom, and then right to uh, follow you and stuff like that. Or adjust the distance and then the height. Uh, there are three adjustments for you to adjust. And then this is the orbit mode, the third one. This one, same thing, uh, allows you to set the distance and then the height and then how high up. So I keep on saying overweight because I'm holding it with my uh, hand. So, And the fourth one will be the journey mode. Uh, the drone will automatically fly away from you and then uh, try to capture you and come back and forth and stuff like that. Same thing to adjust the high, the distance. And then the fifth one will be the follow me mode. So wherever you go, walk around the places, it will follow you. So I'm trying to hit that stop button and it automatically stop. Once you hit it again. And I'm trying to hit that uh, to fly home, but unfortunately the, the warning uh, pop up before the slide to proceed, so. Okay, so you hit hit that stop button, but I didn't hit it. And this is a controller mode. This is only when it's emergency, okay. And you need to charge your controller first, uh, as you can see. After I charge it and everything, and then the, the those blue light, those four uh, RGB light will be gone, and then the middle button will stay on after it's uh, or stay on and flashing after it's finish uh, charging and within this mode uh, you, you gotta press uh, R1 to toggle between the video and then the photo mode and then uh, L1 to snap the picture and then R2 is for all the buttons that you could press So after you sync the smartphone, uh, somehow my controller uh, connected already, but it did not work. Whatever I press to start, uh, somehow the drone just does not take off. I'm not sure why. So anyway, this one I did not connect it because it say failed to connect. So I got I kind of fed up with this. So this is the controller mode. It's only if you want to use it with your VR uh, goggle headsets. Okay. And right here, I'm trying to show you guys a tutorial on how to take picture and videos. You press uh, the shutter button or aperture button to capture the pictures, okay? And uh, you toggle the video. There's a upper left hand corner next to the setup but uh, set setting button right there. Right now we're on video mode, and then uh, you press the uh, red to record. So as you can see, I'm trying to adjust the camera, tilting uh, down up, and 
as you can see it lags after adjusting and then a couple seconds uh, try to adjust for itself and on the right hand side uh, it shows the 14.26 gigabyte of uh, space left on the drone this the drone has a 16 gigabyte of a memory on board okay And the following clip, uh, this one is going to show you guys on about the white balance uh, mode, how you adjust it. You click on the setting button on the left hand side right there. And there are the different modes that you can select. Or you can press lock to lock it up. There's the auto, sunny mode, and then uh, sunshine mode. But this one I'm trying to uh, show you guys was a different effect after you changed it and then the sunset as you can see on the left hand side it, sh it shows a different color scheme and right, is, right now it's cloudy and then fluorescent and then the last one is incandescent and light and then the very last one that is to lock so nobody could change it all right and then the next one i'm going to do is the exposure this is how you uh change your exposure you can have a plus or minus up to 3.0 then this is the brightest then you could just toggle back and forth like a dialer so So right now I'm trying to demonstrate with my right fingers instead of left so it won't cover the the left picture so you, get, you can see what's the difference when you adjust it. Okay. Then we're gonna move on to the next uh, tutorial. This will be showing the, you guys on uh, how to snap photos. Basically the same thing as the uh, one that I showed earlier, but this one, somehow, this one has a sound. But after I play a little bit, and then somehow the sound has disappeared again. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or bugs. And uh, you could toggle the controller back and forth. See, I snap a picture right now, it didn't say it, it didn't sound, and now it sound again, so it's, it's just weird. It's not too stable, I guess. And this is the one that you snap the video. You cannot touch the screen to take a video. You can only uh, hit that red uh, record button in order to record or a uh, square button to stop. As you can see, I'm trying to show you guys right now is a 14.34 gigabyte of uh, space left on the drone. And this is how to select the file. If you go to your gallery, if you want to select, you select a certain file that you want to delete, then you just uh, hit uh, you hit that select button and just pick out whatever pictures or videos that you want to delete. And then the next one will be select all. You want it. This is only to do that if you want to delete all the picture and uh, videos and there's an edit folder there too as well or if you go to any mode or doing a fly you can click on that button and then uh, delete your files from there as well and the arrow going down that means to download okay download to directly to your uh, smartphone or your devices your Apple iPhone or any smartphone or any of the uh, tablets so if you touch the right bar this one is show you guys uh, what are all those uh, icon uh, means okay <coughs> so I can see uh, right now my uh, icon show orange which is the uh, IRS is currently out of the normal working uh, range too close or too far to detect the surface okay and there's uh, this one with the square 
or FM might be blocked. And this is the global position system. And then this one is the GPS. And this is internal measurement unit. And this one I'm going to show you guys is uh, only hit this if you're uh, only if it for emergency, uh, okay? Or else you're going to crack your drone or break it. Because your motor will be shut down completely, okay? So right now I'm trying to just uh, adjusting the camera, tilting their angle. So in order to do the emergency stop, you see the pilot on the top of the middle screen. Just double tap it, and then you you give you warning first, and then slide to proceed. So I'm gonna demonstrate again. You double tap it in any mode, and then uh, that is only for uh, emergency stop, which is cut off all the motor during flight. But that means your drone will be, will will do the free fall, okay? So just be careful. And right here I'm trying to just trying to show you guys that uh, there are like uh, up to six modes uh, for this. The first one is the pilot mode. And those are your toggle streets on the screen. So again I'm trying to do a test fly for you guys to check it out. I believe the battery is low, that's why it's blinking red. Because it's only show about, oh my god, 10%. So anyway, please uh, be sure to uh, like this video, give a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And share it with your friend and family on social media about this drone, if they have it, if they lost uh, anything. <laughs>or in case they need to refer back to what mode and stuff like that that they could use with this drone and then the drone will not fly if it's only a 4% battery level okay so hit that subscribe button turn on that bell for notification and then uh, drop any of the comments on below alright so anyway happy friday and then uh thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next uh video <laughs> by the way since it was too much lagging and stuff like that with this drone so i'm going to uh, return this one i'm not going to fly the drone and then uh, record video and then there's so much lagging all right thank you and peace out guys